We got to go fast and try to catch out as many fish as possible while we have the chance. Here we go. First trap going down. I can't tell what kind it is. Do you know? Oh my God. What? Got to save him. We have to get him out. I'm in. Ah! Ah! A big fish, big fish. Look at the colors on that. There is a ton of dead fish. Oh my gosh. It's freaking huge. Look right down there. Look. Do you see that? We just found some weird like eel looking thing in there. Look, did you see that? I don't want to mess with that. Look. No freaking way! That's the biggest albino pickle I've ever seen, dude. Oh. Oh. We got one! Look at that. What is up, BFT Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we're going to be saving fish trapped in the sewer after a monster flood. Here in South Florida, it's hurricane season. You guys know what that means. A lot of rain and a lot of flooding. And right now, as we speak, there's a hurricane headed towards us. And because of that, we've been getting tons of rain and everything is flooded. And when that happens, fish end up places they shouldn't be and they get trapped there left to die. Now, the hurricane is supposed to hit us tomorrow. So it's really important for us to come here and try to save as many fish before it's too late. Because once that hurricane hits, everything is going to be flooded and a lot of fish are gonna die guys so we're here today at one of my favorite spots of all time it's this one area that is filled with sewers and all these sewers connect to each other and they're filled with really cool aquarium fish so guys like i said the hurricane is really close i think there's actually three different hurricanes so if the audio is bad that's why i'm sorry i can't control hurricanes it's really windy that doesn't stop us though we still need to come out here and try to save all these fish and we're gonna start off by fishing the street sewers check it out these sewers are famous for us catching those lampreys out of it you might remember it those crazy eel like alien fish oh my god it looks like an eel oh it's definitely dead though ew look at the mouth is that the mouth oh my god what did we just catch oh my oh god my, it's got like a bajillion teeth and they were mysteriously dead but there's a lot of other fish in here and we're gonna try to catch them today so we're gonna be fishing this one today Ugh. and we're also gonna be fishing the one across the street so we got two of these street sewers these are loaded with fish we're gonna stick our nets in there and then after we net around a little bit we're gonna place our fish traps so here we go we got a bucket filled up for all the keepers we're gonna to catch all right here we go guys we're gonna stick the net in here start netting around and see what we can catch you never know what you're gonna find in here because all these sewers fill up with water from all the creeks and canals nearby and then once the fish are trapped in here they have nowhere to go Ugh. oh that was a good net come on oh we got a fish we got a fish already oh no it's just a little tilapia <laughs> well i did say we're saving fish today i mean i guess that goes for every fish right there you go buddy first fish of the day let's get back in there and uh, see what else we can find oh there's fish right there come on Oh, I got one. I got one. What is this? Please don't be a tilapia. Oh, oh, that's not a tilapia. Dude, that's an African cichlid. That is a lot cooler than a tilapia, guys. Look at that. That's nice. He's not too colorful, but it is really cool. There you go, buddy. We'll get him in the bucket. That is two fish saved already from Hurricane. What's the name of the hurricane? We're going to keep going. We're going to try and save every fish we can today. There's more in here. I can see them. They have no idea a hurricane's coming. Uh, I think all the fish got scared in this one, guys. We're gonna head across the street, fish the other one, and then we're gonna place our fish traps. All right, here we go. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, big scoop. Lamprey, baby, give me a lamprey. Oh, I just felt something in the net, Helen. I don't see what it is. There's a lot of leaves. I'm kind of scared. What if it is a lamprey and it sucks onto me and then it kills me? I swear there was something. <gasps> oh, Jesus, oh my God. That's a fish, Helen. That's a pig fish. What the heck? It, ow, some sort of catfish or something. He's so slimy. Look. Look at that little guy. That's definitely some sort of catfish. Ow! I can't tell what kind it is. Do you know? Guys, comment down below if you know. He's really fat though. I mean, look at his belly. Don't fat shame. Wow, he's been eating good. There's a hurricane coming, buddy. We gotta get you out of here. We're gonna get him in the bucket. That's a really cool fish. Comment down below what that is, guys. Like I said, these sewers are loaded with crazy fish. Who knows what else we'll pull out of here? So let's keep netting around. Oh, oh, you're trapped. You're trapped. Oh, my trap. <laughs> you guys, this hurricane is no joke, okay? It's literally so windy out here. Look at the other trap. Oh, the other trap ended up there somehow. I think we gotta get these fish chefs placed in the sewer before they fly away into the hurricane, guys. So here we go, first trap going down. We got it baited with french fries today. We're gonna tie it right here. We're gonna get the second trap placed. All right, here we go, second fish trap going in. Oh, wait, no, no, there's a fish right here. I'm gonna sneak attack him. <laughs> Come on. There was a fish right at the top of the sewer. Come on, baby, I get it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's not what I saw, but that's a little baby crawfish. He's just a little baby. We gotta save him. There you go, buddy, get in the bucket. That's definitely not what I saw though. I saw an actual fish. Oh, right here, look at that. 
What is it? Oh, it's a vieja. Look at that little guy. That's a vieja cichlid, guys. These guys get really pretty. Another aquarium fish that's not supposed to be here, but they are everywhere. A really cool fish. So we're going to keep them as well. There you go, buddy. Let's get that second fish trap in the sewer and keep going. All right, here we got a second trap going in. Let's hope these fish like Chick-fil-A. We're going to leave the rope right here and then close the sewer so no one falls in there. You guys, it's time to head to the second spot. Like I said, we got a lot of flooding, a lot of rain. So who knows what we're going to find? Here we go. All right, guys, we're on our way to the second spot, but we're making a stop here. Right here is a sewer that we fished one time before. It was all dried up and there was actually a snakehead still alive in there. So we're gonna check it out and see if there's any fish in there. All right, we're gonna shine the light in there and see if we see anything. Oh, it's really deep. Hello, no spiders, snakes. There's a lot of snakes in this area. Let's hope I don't find one. Hello, oh my, oh my God. What? Helen, no freaking way. Do you see that? Oh my God. I can't see anything. Oh my God. Okay. This is actually insane guys. There's fish down there. The water's really shallow. No freak. I have to catch it. I have to get my net. I'm pretty sure I see a giant albino plinko, like a literal monster. It's trapped in there. I don't think it's going anywhere. I'm going to get my net. We're going to try to catch him. I hope it's alive because the water's really shallow. I can't tell. Oh, it's so scary. Oh no, I can't get it. It's too deep. Ugh. Ah. I'm stuck. I can't get the fish. It's too deep. That's not going to work, guys. It's really deep in there. We got to save him. We have to get him out. I mean, that Placo is literally insane. I mean, I'm sure you could squeeze in there. Go down and grab him. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Does that mean I'm going to have to? This is like the scariest thing I've ever done, but we have to. There's fish in here. Ah! How is this going to work? How are you going to get out? I don't know. Wish me luck. <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Ah! Oh, this is so scary. Holy crap. I me my flashlight. Please don't be any creepy crawlies. I'm gonna hand you the fish, Helen, okay? I'm gonna drop it. Ow! Ow! Stop resisting! Ah! Ah! Get it! Ah, oh, Jesus! <laughs> There's another one. I Here. can't get him in the net. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Playco. Where's the light? I can't see anything. Oh my God, it's so big, Helen. Oh, I got it. Helen, I got it. Look at this. Look at the size of this freaking Playco. Look at that. That's the biggest. I'll buy no play goal I've ever seen, dude. Get him in the net. Yes. I can't believe it right now. Ow! Can you get out? Uh, I'm out. If I can get in, I can get out. What are you staring at? That was so worth it. Uh, ow! <laughs> that was probably the scariest thing I think I've ever done. But that was so worth it. Look at this. Forget the snake head, okay? Forget we even caught him. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. That is literally the biggest albino playco. I think I've ever seen. He's got like black spots on him too. That's not mud. His eyes aren't even red. What does that mean? It's like albino looking, but I don't know if this is actually albino. Whatever it is, it's literally insane looking and it's huge. And we got this. I mean, and we got a monster snake head. This is so crazy. Okay, I don't know what to do. Guys, we didn't bring like a cooler or anything for bigger fish. We might have to just run this guy back to my house. They can live out of water for a long time. We could throw him in a bucket, but I don't think we can like keep him here all day. We should just rush this guy back to my house, get him into the pond and then come back here keep fishing what do we what do we do with the snakehead though we can't save him hurricane's coming but i mean snakeheads are very hardy fish i'm sure he's gonna be fine we're gonna throw him back in the sewer and we're gonna get this guy in a bucket and rush him home this is literally insane all right let's get him in the bucket oh yeah he's definitely way too big for that bucket we're gonna get him back to my house right now and we're gonna come back here after keep netting and see what else we can find here we go all right guys we've made it back to my house and we have our new massive albino playgo that we just caught out of the sewer and we're gonna be adding them to the front quick pond along with the other massive albino playgo that we already have i didn't catch that one someone gave it to me so to catch one almost as big as it honestly i think we should compare the sizes because if you see them down there it's massive and honestly now that i'm looking at them this one might actually be a little bit bigger and we just caught it so i'm gonna have to get in there i'm gonna have to try and grab that giant one so we can see which one is bigger don't bite me guys bite them no Got him. Ow. Look at this. I got him. Oh, he's huge. Wait a minute. This one might actually be bigger. Hold on. See, this one's like a lot brighter than this guy. I think this one might actually be called a chocolate Playco. Because if you see, he doesn't have red eyes like this guy. This guy has red eyes. That's really weird, guys. Let me know what you think. What is this? All right, well, let's get him in the pond. Here we go. There goes the OG. See ya, buddy. There you go. Welcome. Oh, my gosh. 
Guys, comment down below a name for our new massive albino playco. But right now we're gonna head back to the sewers and we're gonna check out some other spots and see what else we can catch there. Here we go. Well guys, we're back here at the next spot. You guys might recognize it. We've caught some crazy stuff out of here like red pike cichlids, royal playcos, and even purple crabs. So we got my mom's giant pool net once again. You guys, I am very excited for those fish traps later. I think today's the day. I think we're gonna get ourselves a lamprey. I'm serious. Oh my gosh, it's deep. You can see how much rain we've gotten. The water is so high. Oh, oh, yes, we got a fish. First fish of the day in the, well, in the sewer. What are you? Oh no, it's a bluegill. Well, that sucks. You know what? We got to save this guy. Hurricane's coming. Nothing left behind except for snakeheads because we legally can't save them. All right, buddy, go in the keeper bucket. There you go. Let's keep going and see if we can catch something cooler than that. Oh, that was a really good net. Oh, a big fish, big fish. What is this? Oh, what are you? Oh, wait, what? Oh my God. What is that? Is that a shad? <laughs> That's a giant shad. That's a native species here. That's like a bait fish. Oh. Well, he's gone. All right. Hopefully he survives the hurricane. Good luck to you. <laughs> Come on. Oh, another giant fish. Wait, what the heck is this? That is not a shad. Holy crap. It's massive. Wait. Oh my gosh. It's huge. Is that an African cichlid? You guys, check this out. This looks like some sort of African cichlid, maybe like the body shape. Oh my gosh. It's huge though. I don't think I've ever seen an African cichlid that big. Looks like it got beat up by something. It's like scales are ripped off. Well, that's not good guys. We're going to keep them though. Comment down below what you think that is. I think it's some sort of African cichlid. All right, buddy, go in the bucket. Guys, the weather is picking up. We got to go fast and try to catch out as many fish as possible while we have the chance. Oh, well, we caught two more and they're both tilapia. You just got a notification that the hurricane upgraded to a cat too. Oh, that's good. You hear that guy's cat too. That means we gotta go. We're evacuating. We're evacuating the sewers. <laughs> go in the bucket. We're saving everything. I think all the fish are scared of me now, guys. That's why the fish traps are so much better than netting. When you set a fish trap, all the fish collectively go in there. They don't get spooked. As soon as you throw a net down in the sewer, they scatter. I think what we're going to do, guys, we're going to head to the next spot. The final one, my favorite, the one I've been looking forward to the most. And we're going to see what we can catch out of that. And then we got our fish traps, guys. So let's head to the next spot. Oh, wait, wait, are you still recording? Yeah. Oh my God, there was a fish in the net. Never mind, guys, we're not heading to the next spot. We just caught a fish. <gasps> no way. It's a beautiful Oscar. Oh my gosh, it's like the same one we caught here last time. He's pretty. He's so pretty. Look at that. Relax, buddy. Look how gorgeous that Oscar is. We caught two of these. They look exactly the same, and it was out of the same spot. That must mean they were breeding here. There's tons of these babies lurking around. That is so cool. Nice little baby Oscar. Okay. We're going to get this guy in the bucket and then we're going to head to the next spot. We'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we've made it to spot number three or four. Honestly, I've lost track. Hurricane's coming. I mean, the wind is picking up and this is the last spot we're going to be fishing today until we check our fish traps later. And this spot is basically the center of all these sewers. All the spots we've already fished, they all connect to this spot. You can see that tunnel there. That leads to a sewer. That one leads to a different sewer. And when it floods, all the fish flush in through those tunnels and they end up right here. Now, guys, this spot looks a lot different from last time. Last time we were netting around in here, we placed fish traps and we caught some crazy stuff that were trapped in here. Because if you see, see that little tunnel right there? That's how they get in. But once they're in, they literally cannot get out and they are trapped in there forever. So we saved all those fish out. Now, as you can tell today, there's no sewer gray. I don't know what happened, but there's no lid to the sewer anymore. And we've taken a peek in there and it is disgusting, guys. I don't know how much we're gonna show on YouTube. This is really bad, but there is a ton of dead fish. Look at that, there's dead fish literally. Oh, I don't wanna show it really. There's a lot of dead fish guys, but not all hope is lost. I do see fish swim around in there, including massive snakeheads. I don't know how many are in there, but I'm seeing them. I mean, I see one right there, look in the corner. See his tail sticking out right there? They're huge, they're literally like this big. So that's no surprise that the snakeheads are still alive. Who knows what else is still in there? We're running low on time though. We got the hurricane coming and these fish are on a time right now they're not gonna last much longer in there so guys we got my mom's pool net yet again and we have a brand new bucket filled with clean water just so we don't cross contaminate because whatever is in here definitely has some sort of disease let's start fishing and see what we can catch should we start with the giant snake head we see right there it's literally so massive it's huge look at that thing so the reason the snake head is probably alive and all the other fish aren't is snake heads can actually come up to the top and breathe the air so even though the water quality is horrible they could still breathe in there they're still good oh my god look Look at that one. Look at that one. It's huge. Oh, this is bad. You know, I think we're going to have to throw this net away after this. This is so bad. Look at the size of that snake. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's huge. Holy crap, it's huge. Oh, 
Oh my gosh! Oh, don't fall out of the net, buddy! No! <laughs> he did exactly what we didn't want him to do. He got out. No. I think there's multiple. Yeah, there's multiple snake heads, you guys. That is so crazy. Oh, what is that? That was not a snake head. That was a little fish. He's still alive. Please tell me I got it. That one was definitely alive. Did we get him? Oh, oh, that's so gross, Helen. Oh my gosh. Wait, we got a lot of fish in there. There's one. Oh, what is that? Holy crap, is that a Jack Dempsey? It is. It's a gorgeous Jack Dempsey, you guys. Check it out. We have to save him. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty that fish is. That is called a Jack Dempsey. That's one of the biggest ones I've actually caught in a long time. Look at the colors on that. That's so beautiful. I think he's alive. We got him. We got, are you alive? Yeah, let's get him in the bucket. See if they're alive. We got a little baby tilapia. Are you alive? Oh, he's alive. Okay. Please tell me that Jack Dempsey's alive. Yes, he is. He's swimming. Third one. Come on, three for three. He's alive, all right. There is a lot of dead fish in there, but clearly there's still some that are alive. That is a good sign, guys. And we got a Jack Dempsey, that is crazy. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful fish. Okay, let's get the net back in there and see what else we can catch. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that snakehead. It literally covers the whole sewer. Okay, I'm gonna try and catch it. Come on, get in the net. Oh no, got him, yes. Oh my God, it's huge, it's freaking huge. Holy crap, got him, look at that, oh Jesus. Look at this thing, that is the biggest snakehead I've seen in a long time. That is literally way bigger than the one we caught earlier. Look at, he's even got blue scales, oh that is so crazy. It's a shame though guys, we can't do anything with this guy. He's just gotta hope the hurricane comes quick and we get a lot more rain so he can go back into the other tunnels and back to where he came from. But as you can see, these things are perfectly fine, they're very hardy fish and I'm sure he'll be fine. So we're gonna send him back down and try to catch out some more fish to save, here we go. Yeah, buddy. Let's get back in there. Oh my God, is that the same snakehead or is that a different one? That one looks even bigger. Oh my gosh. There's so many snakeheads in this one. Oh, there's fish right here. Did we get them? I think we did. Oh, it's flopping, it's alive. What are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, no freaking way. Look at that. It's a wild garami. That is so freaking cool, you guys. That is so crazy, guys. Just like the snakeheads, these are labyrinth fish. Now what that means, they come up to the top and they breathe the oxygen. That might be why they're surviving in there, even though the water quality is horrible and all the other fish are dying. We're gonna get this guy in the bucket. That is a nice little garami. We're gonna take him home and save him. There you go, buddy. Go in there with your friends. All right. Oh my God, Helen, look right down there. Look. Do you see that? A bright orange fish. Yeah, there's an orange fish down there. I'm gonna try and catch it, guys. I don't know what it is, but it's bright orange, so it's gotta be something cool. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Get in there. Yes, I got him. It looks like a Midas cichlid. Oh, that is so freaking cool, you guys. I think he's alive, too. Yeah, he was swimming around down there. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. That might be a red devil, actually. I don't even know. Whatever it is, it's really pretty, though. We're definitely keeping them. Look how cool those eyes are. The blood red eyes. Such a pretty fish. All right. Another exotic aquarium fish saved out of the sewer. We're going to get them in the bucket and keep going. We might get an aerator on these guys just to ensure that they stay alive, but they look good. It's crazy. All the fish that are not from Florida are always the ones to survive these floods and all this stuff. All the native stuff like bass and bluegills, that's mainly what's dead down there. And all the fish that are alive are fish that are not from here, like Jack Dempsey's, Midas cichlids. It sucks, it's sad, but it's the reality. Look at that, there's two snakeheads right next to each other. Oh yeah, look at that one, we got one. Got him! <laughs> That's not the big boy. Don't splash me in the face with your nasty poop water. Look at that thing, another giant snakehead in that sewer. Oh my God, where are you, where are you going? Sadly, we're gonna have to toss this guy back in and hope that somehow he finds his way back to where he came from. Oh, look right down there, right in the corner. Come on. There was a bunch of fish right there. Did we get them? Yes, we did. What are they? Oh, a tilapia. Oh, look at this. Look at that. That is a convict cichlid, you guys. That is from South America. They're not supposed to be here, and yet they're thriving, even in this horrible water. Look, we got three fish. What is this? Oh my gosh. That's that's like some sort of a cara or like a green tear, maybe. And then a tilapia. Not cool. There we go. Three more fish added. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh no, ew, we got a dead, ew, we got a dead fish and a live fish. Oh, oh. Oh, it smells so bad. We got a fish though. Ew. Oh, don't show that. There's a dead fish in there. There's something else though. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What the heck is this? Is he alive? Oh my, ew, it's alive. What the heck is that? We just found some weird like eel looking thing in there. Oh my gosh, he's breathing. Okay, we gotta get him in water. It's alive still. What the heck is this? He doesn't look too good, but he's still breathing. He's really skinny. Oh my gosh, I think we've caught these before. Wait, we've caught one of these. And I'm pretty sure it was in the same exact spot. We caught him literally in that same sewer. What the heck, guys? Comment down below what this is. 
I'm pretty sure we've already caught one of these in the same spot. Okay, now we definitely need to get an aerator on these guys. Make sure they're good. He looks okay, but uh, I don't know. There is some freaking insane fish in there and they're still alive. Oh God, guys, the wind is picking up. Thunderstorms are coming in. It's not looking good. We don't got much more time. We're gonna keep fishing a little bit more though. See if we can save any more fish. But I think we're gonna have to go soon, guys. This hurricane is coming quick. Oh Jesus. Oh my God, Helen. Oh, Helen, there's a snake in there. There's a snake? There's a literal snake, yes, look. I swear, there's a snake. Like, for sure. A freaking python. It's an anaconda. There's an anaconda in the There's an anaconda. Yes, I swear. <gasps> look, oh my God, look. look. Did you see that? Look, no, no, no. Look in the corner, in the corner, there it is. That is a snake, you guys. Should I catch it? Oh, he just went in my net. I guess I have no choice. Hey, buddy. Oh my, ew, it's huge. Holy, what snake is that? We gotta find out if it's venomous or not, guys. Wait, look in the net, Helen. We got a fish too. Oh my God, oh my God. He just ate, he attacked the fish. He's attacking it. Okay. Ah! That looks like a scary snake. I don't wanna mess with that. Oh, he's angry. Do we put him back in the sewer? Oh my, oh my ah! God. Ah! It looks like he ate a fish. He's fat. Is that a water moccasin? Guys, I'm not a snake expert. Comment down below what kind of snake this is. He was in that sewer. I would like to get that fish, please. Oh, oh my God. Bye. Get out of here. Don't come back. There was a fish in here this whole time. You poor thing. He's probably traumatized right now. Look at this. Is he alive? Yes, he's alive. That's an African cichlid. He does not look good. Hopefully he makes it. I don't know if that snake was attacking it or what. We're gonna get this fish in the bucket, net around a little bit more, and hopefully we can catch a little bit more fish before it's too late. Oh my God, the snake's back. Oh right my there. God, what is he doing? Is that the same one? That's not the same one. That's the same snake. <laughs> I guess he wants to come back to his sewer. I mean, he's eating good in there. He's fat. Get out of here. This is our sewer. Go. Go. <laughs> I think we need to go. The weather's looking really bad. Yeah, guys, this hurricane. I'm not sure if I want to be outside when it hits. So I think we're going to go get the fish traps and then we're going to head back to my house and get all the fish that we saved today into a pond or a fish tank. Hopefully we get some more with the fish traps. We did catch the massive albino plateco. Who knows what we'll get next, guys. So we're going to go check our fish traps and see what we caught doing that. The hurricane, it's, it's pretty much here. Look at that. That is not good. Oh God, guys, we're gonna really hurry. The hurricane is here, okay. We're here at the first fish trap. Let's get it open and see what we caught. Ah! Oh, this is so scary. Look, there's our trap, guys. Come on, did we get anything? <gasps> oh, yes, we did. What the heck is this? Oh my gosh, Helen, look at that. Wait, there's a blue crawfish right here. I didn't even see him, a massive blue crawfish. Look how colorful this cichlid is. Look at that. What the heck is that? Oh, it's really pretty. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's here. Oh my God. Oh, we need to go quick. All right, let's get him in the keeper bucket. There you go. Look at him, he's huge. Oh, that is really cool. Buddy, it's a cat too. We gotta go. Tilapia, another tilapia. Look at that tilapia, we'll keep them. Look at this, and another African cichlid. Okay, nothing insane in that trap. No lampreys, which is what I was going for. We're gonna check the second one real quick, and hopefully we caught something crazier in that one. Oh, it's raining really hard. Here goes the second trap, oh, please. Please let this be worth it. Oh God, wait, Helen, look, no freaking way. It was worth it. Do you see that? We got baby albino placos. Wait, we got so many more fish in this trap. Look at this, we got another one of these. This one's not as colorful though. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, it's a baby albino. Look at this. Oh, we got so many fish. We gotta go quick, okay. Oh, there's a garami, look. This one's blue though. It's another one of these weird catfish we caught in the same exact sewer earlier. This one's a little smaller though, that's crazy. What else? Oh my gosh, another Placo, Helen, look. Texas cichlid, there's another albino. Oh, the rain stopped, the hurricane's gone. Look at this guy, he's so chunky. <laughs> he's so bad. <laughs> Two more African cichlid, wow, this one's gorgeous. Look at the electric blue, oh my gosh. Okay, we got our keeper bucket right here, jam packed full of fish from today. That was literally just like the outer layer of the hurricane. We're gonna rush home right now, get these fish in the ponds, and then we're just gonna have to stay inside. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to film any videos while this is going on. We're gonna try, so yeah guys, this was crazy. Right now we're gonna head back to my house and get all these fish into the backyard ponds. We'll see you guys there. We're here at the side mini pond. Now, right now, there is nothing in here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be adding most of the fish we caught into this pond just for now. Check it out. In this bucket, we got a lot of fish, you guys. Look at, oh my gosh. We got a lot of fish in there, a big variety. Look at that. We got blue crawfish in here. We got massive catfish. We got albino placos. We're gonna go ahead and add every single fish into the pond. Here we go. 
Oh, there they go. <laughs> See you guys. Oh, look at that. We got so many fish in there. Look at all the cichlids. There you go. I think this guy right here is actually called an eye biter. Such a cool fish. A type of African cichlid. There he goes. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Nice little pretty Oscar. Some African cichlids and another albino placo baby. I wonder if these are the babies from the big one that we caught. I mean, could be possible. He's chunky. All right, we're going to add him in. There he goes. And now guys, the rest of the fish that we have are the fish that we caught from that nasty water. So what we're going to do, we're going to isolate them in a tank in the fish room and treat them, make sure they're healthy before we add them to any other pond here we go all right guys we're in the fish room right now and this is the fish tank we're going to be adding all the fish in now in the last video if you guys remember we added a bunch of fish into this tank and check it out here's the puffer fish down there there's the catfish you can see the bicer under the leaves i think you guys said this guy was called a jelly catfish and then we got all the albino arowanas albino clown knife fish everyone's doing really good in there so let's get the rest of the fish into this fish tank check it out guys the first fish is going to be this midas cichlid maybe a red devil i don't know three two one there he goes wow he is gorgeous next up is an african cichlid he doesn't look the best but he should pull around i think he's gonna make it now i got this guy a massive jack dempsey look how colorful that fish is that is such a beautiful fish i think this is a green tear yeah look at that face oh that is so cool now we got a convict cichlid going in and last one we're going to be adding in is this garami there he goes beautiful fish this is only temporary for him until we treat him and then they're going to go into the backyard ponds this guy sadly didn't make it guys he looks really skinny i don't know how long he's been in there if you know what that is comment down below i actually think i have another one in like the mystery pond or something and i think we caught it in the same area so maybe we can go back and try to catch more if you want to see that comment down below now in the last video we caught that massive lungfish and we added it to the turtle pond a lot of you guys said that the turtles are going to take bites out of it and chew them up it hasn't happened yet they're coexisting pretty good but we are watching it if they do start nipping on them we'll take them out and move them somewhere else i think we're going to name him a uh, sloppy so we got slippy and sloppy <laughs> sloppy senior say hello to the bfp nation oh he, he's waking up there's our massive lungfish guys look at that he's doing so good in here he loves it oh look Here's the albino soft shell turtle too. Are you taking lips out of our lung? Ow, he tried to bite me. <laughs> He's a feisty one. He tried to bite me. What's his name, Pancake? Uh, biscuit. Biscuit. <laughs> Ow! He's so feisty. Check that out, guys. This is our albino soft shell turtle that we saved from the abandoned house. Oh my gosh, please relax. Stop it. Look at him trying to bite me. He's so mean. You better be nice to Sloppy, okay? Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Have fun. He's oh, so fast. <laughs> And check this out, guys. There's the Monomata. You can see his face down there. Camouflaged in all the leaves and plants. Well, guys, since we're out here already updating you, I guess I'll show you the Oscar pond as well. A lot of you have been asking how they're doing. And they're doing really good. You can see all the Oscars right here. You got all the Paku, the Silver Dollar swimming around. Oh, there's Nemo the Redtail. There he is. He's doing really good too. If you guys like seeing this, little updates around the house, maybe at the end of each video, let me know. But yeah, guys, that was crazy. We caught some insane stuff out of the sewer today. Saved a lot of fish. Hopefully the hurricane isn't too bad and I can still film videos for you guys. But if you did enjoy this one, please go down there and leave a like. Subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.